Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at the Channels tab down here and in particular the top box here which is the Composite area. In other words what Composite means effectively is, is everything here in the Layers panel put together so all adjustments, extra layers and so on. So in other words what you see. So what we get if I just click the top one here what we see here, this is the Composite red one that the eye and the little pencil have stayed on but all the others have turned off. So what we're seeing here is the map of red pixels. White means on, black means off and any grey is somewhere in between. So here we're there all on. To, if I want to see this in colour, by the way a trick here is to click on the eye at the bottom of there on the composite alpha and we'll see that in colour. We'll also see there the blacks there of the other circles which are and not containing any red. So if I click on this circle here, also this sets it back to the beginning. So if I click on the green, I see the green one, the blue on the blue one. If I click on two together, I can click that with the eye there. So the eye and there, I got the two of them appearing together. Now they appear in their original colours. So if I just reset this and go to the Move tool, I can bring them to overlap and give the mixed colours, which because I've got the Add Blend Mode here. Now then if I click on the red one here, I see the red circle here. I don't see just the red bit. I don't just see this red bit up here, I see all of it here because there are red in yellow, in white and in magenta. So it's the channel level. Each pixel is made up of red, green and blue and there's a value for each of those and that shows you what those are. Let's look at this with a real picture. So here I've got another layer panel here. By the way this one here is the uh, layer one. We're not interested in that at the moment, we're just at this one here which is the overall. So if I click on the red here I get effectively a black and white picture because this is just the information. It's values here and on an 8-bit image you're going to get from 0 to 255 for each pixel. So what you're seeing there then is where there's dark that means that there is very little red and when there's white, there's full red. So there's white in the sky here because it's not because the clouds are red but because there is red in white because white is full amount of red, green and blue. So as before, if I click the, the eye at the bottom I can see it in red, in colour. And I can click the green and the blue. And you see they're different. So the red one here shows me the reds. If I click on the green one Notice how here this is more grey, in other words it's getting lighter, which is saying there is more green in this. And the blue, this is darker down here, which says there is less blue. And it's vegetation, so that kind of makes sense. So, what about the pencil marks here? Those are the ability to edit. So if I just leave that one on and turn off the others, so we can see everything here. Then if I get a paintbrush here and it's in black and I'll turn the opacity up so you can see it. Then over here, see what it's looking like, this is going to be cyan. So if I paint on here, it appears cyan. And it appears cyan because when I'm painting black I'm removing. And so I'm painting on the red layer here, so I'm removing the red, so what's left is the green and the blue. So you're seeing here that combination which is cyan. And if I turn the eye off on the others, so you can just see this, I've actually painted here black onto this layer. In other words it's destructive, I've removed the red. But the detail which shows the river are still here, so if when I combine them together I get that effect. I could also paint in white. So if I click on the white here, if I paint normally it's going to be white because all of these are on. 
if I turn off these here, now I'm painting just on the top one, so it's going to get red. So if I go back to, let's do a history and just reset that. Now if I paint just on the red one here, it's going to be red, but typically what I do is turn the opacity right down and then I can just add a tint to it if I want to make that, say, a slightly browner colour. So that's another way, that's one way of editing. You can do it directly via the channels here. What you can do as well here, if I go to the alpha channel here, then if I just turn on the others, but just editing here, I can't use black and white here. If I get the black, see, I can't, nothing's going to happen here. I'm going to go to the erase brush. So I go to the erase brush tool, and now I can erase and it paints through. But if I look at just the alpha channel here, what I'm seeing is black is showing where the, the alpha, the transparency, is zero, which means you are uh, you can see straight through it. So if I turn the others on, you can then see what you'd normally expect. But if I turn the alpha off now, so I can't see that, this is what you see on the red, green and blue. And what effectively has happened here, and just paint more on it, is this is where I've, what I've actually erased. So those have actually been removed information from those channels. If I can click on one of those, you can see the red, the green and the blue. But when I put on the alpha channel here, there's this phase bit here. So if I do the whole thing, you've got the that uh, gradient at the edge. And it needs the red, green and blue information to be able to show the fade off. And that's how it does it. It does it just with the alpha channel and that combination there. So that's what's going on. What we can do as well, if I right click, toggle visible and toggle editable, change this, turn those to on and off. I can also load these to selections. So if I say click on load to selection on there, then this is selected. So if I do something like a curves, hit control D to get rid of the marching ants. I'm now turning up and down the pixels which have got more red in them. So I select for the pixels with red. So it's a way of doing that. What I can do as well is I can use these in a way. So if I right click here, say create spare channel, then I could right click, rename that and call it red. So I've got the red channel there. And then if I just move that up a bit, so I've got space, right click the green channel, say create spare channel, right click that and rename that to green. I've now got a copy of the green channel. So I could take this in here, right click that and say load to background green and then putting the red into the green. And if I go to the green, right click that and say load to background red, I've swapped the green and red channels which is what's sometimes called cross process. And in the labs with the old films, it was quite tricky. You know, you change the chemicals, but here it's quite an easy thing to do. Right, I think that's about enough of that. So this gives an idea of what this channel does and something about how you can use it. For this channel here, see I right click this, I've got different things in here. That's because this is for the layer here. If I put in a adjustment here. See that disappears. I've only got this little bit here about curves. So the top layer is always there. The other layers will change depending upon whether it's a pixel layer or an adjustment. Anyway, that's it and thank you very much for watching.